I embarrassed my kids so bad in the last school year. I, I have two daughters. I live next door to my brother who has three daughters. So it, uh, almost every day I, I drive them to school. And last year, while I was driving them to school, we ran out of gas in the carpool lane because my wife does not realize it's actually legal for women to purchase gasoline. So, <laughs> but we run out of gas and, and people are, are honking the horn and having to back up and go around us and the kids are just mortified. So the next morning when I took them, I made sure that the tank was just as full as it could possibly be. And I pull up to the front of the school and they have like these assistant teachers that help open the doors. And I'm not even trying to be funny, but as we pull up to the front, I roll down the passenger window and yell out, I've got gas this morning. <laughs> And the kids are like, oh, God, just go home. Just go home. But see, then they turn around and embarrass me because they're, they're, they're reaching this age where I think they have a natural curiosity that's starting to develop. And bless their hearts, you know, they have no brothers or boy cousins to check out anything on. But I can tell they're at that, that they're at this age because, y'all, when I get in the shower, there is nobody else in that bathroom. Now, when I get out of the shower, there are five little girls just loitering. <laughs> so finally, I confronted them. I said, why are all of you in this bathroom? And my youngest one, who's really funny, she said, we're trying to see a hoo-hoo. <laughs> I said, well, I'm going to tell you all you need to know about hoo-hoos. Hoo-hoos are extremely poisonous. <laughs> and without missing a beat, she said, they are not or the dog would be dead. <laughs> I hate a smart kid, I swear. 